it's your fault. You never did it. Because that little germ that was in you was to be you before the foundation of the world. God put your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Like my little eagle story, all of you heard it. A hen old farmer said a, a, a hen one time. She didn't have enough hens, I, uh, eggs to grow the hen. So then he found an eagle egg and put it on her. When the eagle was born, it's the funniest looking chicken that chicken's ever seen. Little old eagle going along the hen to go cluck, 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 cluck. Little eagle said, I don't know what the thing sounds like, but I'm following her anyhow. And they went out to the barnyard, began to scratch the manure piles. And she said, cluck, 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 this is good, this is good. You join ours, and this is what... That little eagle, he couldn't eat that stuff. He just, he just went along with the chicken. Because he didn't know. He didn't know what to do. And then she went out there, to get this and that, and the little eagle just... Uh, he just had to stomach it, but he, he didn't know how to do it. But he seen all the chickens doing it. But there's something different. He didn't like that. So one day the mother knowed that she'd lay two eggs. So she began to hunt for that other one. Flying around, searching. Like the great Holy Spirit. One day, he flew over the barnyard, that denomination. She looked down there and she seen her baby. She screamed. This is a voice of something that echoed from the inside of him. Oh, that sounds right. Oh, let a real predestinated, born, germ. Predestinated by God, hear the word of God. Is Music to me. No, it's the proof. Start of that denominational stuff anyhow. Join us, come go with us. We got a social party. We got this. We got. This didn't sound right to the little fella. She said, Son, you don't belong in that group anyhow. You belong to me. You're mine. She said, Mama, that sounds real. How am I going to get out of this? Make a jump. I'll catch you. <laughs> That's all you have to do. <laughs> the anointed word of God being vindicated before any man that's born to be a son of God with the predestinated germ into him for this hour he'll seek God's message. The assurance of the God of heaven. Martin Luther saw it for his Wesley saw it for you. The Pentecostal saw it for you. Now, what about you? What do you see? What are you looking at? Amen. Amen. Here we are. The real, genuine eagle shirt. Amen. My sheep know my voice. I'm going to my father. Why well, was put in there by predestination? You were foreordained to a son of God. You were in God before the foundation of the world. You're only manifested in this day for His honor and glory. How can you do it without honoring His word? Yes, sir. Which you are a part of that word by predestination. Because the, the God is the word. You believe it? Well, then, if 
Christ, he always was Word. In the beginning was the Word. And if the Word was God, then you were in God. The Word, the part that you're to play was in God before the foundation of the world. He seen you, he knew you, he predestinated you to it. Not until you just that eagle recognized that voice. So does a, a real born again Christian recognize the voice of God speaking through the word. When they see it anointed and vindicated. Look, he looked up there. Didn't see this old head cut punk around here. Join us and go over here and go to this and go to this and that. He saw a being like he wanted to be. Sailing in the air. Screaming free up in the high. Just above all the vultures in the of the earth. Hallelujah. He wanted to be that because it was in him to be that. And a man that's born of God, the son of God, has to have the nature of God. He has to be like God. He honors God. He's part of the Word of God. In this last days of this bride taking form, it's exactly the same power that he was in at the beginning come up to these organizations and so forth. They come out for the bride. He can't be nothing else but that. Amen. Now notice, the anointed word of his days, of which you are a part by predestination. You immediately, like, knew when you heard that. You knew right quick that you was an eagle. You also realize that you was the denominational chicken to begin with. You know, there's something wrong there. There's something wrong. That's right. For you know that you were trapped into it at the beginning. He, the bridegroom, took away your shame and put it in a sea of forgiveness by the washing of the water of the Word and the blood of life. That's what the Bible says. By the washing of the water by the Word. And the Word says, Father, but you are standing completely justified as though you never did it at the beginning. This is my message to the church now as, you, as we go off the air just in a minute. You are standing if you're standing on God's word and with God's word, every any man ever jot ever tittle. Where are you standing? I'm trying to tell you, pull away from them shucks and get out here in the wheat. Where you get right before the sun. I hear the coming of the combine. You're standing complete justified. Like you never did it in the first place. Hallelujah, talk about a Thanksgiving. <laughs> I feel real good. I'm more thankful for that than anything I know of. You are the pure, virtuous, sinless bride of the Son of the living God. Every man and woman is born of the Spirit of God. They washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. And believes every word of God stands as though you never sinned at the first place. You're perfect. The blood of Jesus Christ. How?